Hello everyone. In this video, you will learn how to configure tracker using another database besides the default database, which is uh, H2 database. In this case, you will learn how to configure tracker using a MySQL database, so you can store the data in the MySQL and you can analyze analyze the data based on your purpose using another tools such as uh, many visualization tools or anything else. The first, let's we try to log into the portal. You can see here there is a one device named first car, and the status is offline. And the last update is 123 days ago. Okay, let's log out from the portal. So basically, to change the configuration to use a uh, non-default database, you need to go to tracker home configuration directory in the windows it is located in the c program files tracker actually it is a default uh, installation location and there is a configuration folder here directory and there is a default and tracker never uh, change default xml because it already stated to be a default file and if you need to change the configuration, do it in the tracker XML. So, as you can see, there is a uh, here config.default refer to default.xml file, and this is the configuration for the database. If you want to use MySQL or another database, you need to change this uh, value. So, I will comment it first and I will. So you have to set the configuration. So the database driver is called MySQL GDBC driver, and the database URL is GDBC. The protocol, the file, the database type, and the host you can change with what address, what the host of your database, and this is the name of the database. I have created the tracker database in my localhost database and the username you need to customize based on your configuration okay oh, okay this is file protected so okay let's rerun it in the administration okay let's save it and then after that in the linux you need to restart the tracker so in the windows we also need to stop the tracker the services and then start the tracker so you can see the progress in the log folder actually i think okay server log you can see here let's tell that log you can see okay the database migration and creation in progress you can see here the progress uh, is still ongoing the debug log uh, you can see there this is the log that I have created before okay so let's we wait until the process finish it's quite slow okay altering the table to see group and many things so starting server i think the database set database initial initialization is done so let's we try to relogin and you can see here there is no uh, device because the database is fresh new in the mysql database not in the h2 database so in this state you already save your data to the mysql database so let's we try to add device for device if you want to three one two three okay first device the status is offline and then let's try to okay wait
okay mysql mysql okay mysql mixing and a root okay and password use my tracker so the tables okay i have created the first device so it must be located in the tc devices so let's check this out tc devices and there we go the first device created uh, saved in the mysql database okay that's all for this tutorial hope you enjoyed and find it useful thank you see you next time